Before running the simulation, we can check the material fits of the effective materials that will be used in the 2D simulation. Click on the Material Explorer button from the check menu. The core material corresponds to the slab mode position, and the test materials correspond to the test point positions. The material fits can be adjusted if necessary, and tips for adjusting the fit can be found in the link below this video. We can also check the simulation and memory report to make sure that we have the necessary amount of memory and hard disk space to run the simulation. Next, click the Run button to run the simulation. After the simulation has been run, you can plot the T result from the drop and through monitors. Right click and visualize the result from the drop monitor. Then do the same with the through monitor, adding the result to visualizer 1 so both results are plotted in the same visualizer window. Apply the absolute value scalar operation to see the magnitude of the spectrum. You can see the peaks in the blue curve which correspond to the resonant frequencies that pass through the drop port of the device. You can also plot the E-field profile over the XY plane from the profile monitor. At most frequencies, you can see that the light passes straight through the through port, but for resonant frequencies, like around 1.58 microns, light couples into the ring and exits from the drop port. In the next unit, we will compare the results with the results from a 3D FDTD simulation.